Okay, hi and welcome to another video. Um, I'm aware I promised you last time on the last video, I promised you that the next video will be a new episode of the main series. Um, turns out I was wrong, I didn't manage to finish it so far. I was still working on it, so um, yeah, <laughs> I make uh, as a little, you know, something in between, I make this update video about the Campanotus colony, uh, no, the, not the Campanotus, the Atta colony. The leaf cutter ant colony um, I was talking about a lot in the past and I'll just give you a little bit update where we are what happened the last few days weeks also since we had since we had the new setup um, thank you for all the feedback about the setup by the way uh, was amazed by all the feedback I got all the, the overwhelming positive feedback that was amazing anyway um, let's have a look at the colony so uh, as you remember from the video uh, I made a while ago, uh, the colony has lost, well, a couple of uh, weeks ago, the colony has lost almost all its fungus. And as you can see, the fungus is growing. Um, they are on a good way, of course, still far away from what it once was, but uh, as you can see, the, there's more fungus than it used to be in both chambers, this first fungus chamber. Uh, they have done quite a job, of course, doesn't. It's, it will not be done overnight uh, to get back to what it once was, but uh, yeah, it's it's okay. It's steadily growing. The colony is steadily growing, and we can see also the, the other fungus chamber um, over there. There's also fungus there um, that they work on. Cut a lot of leaves. As you can see, there are a lot of leaves around, and are working all the time. Um, so the colony looks better from that point of view. Uh, what I noticed is that the workers are smaller than they used to be. That's probably because uh, during the time when there was little fungus, uh, they didn't have that much uh, resources to feed the larvae. But uh, as you can see, the, there's quite some, uh, some, some things going on in the outworld. Uh, they're working, they're back. Uh, what you can see, what has changed since the video about the, the about this setup, um, I added this log here, this piece of wood. And there's a particular reason for that. Um, I didn't know that, <laughs> I had no idea that uh, leaf cut ants have trouble with sand. You know, I, I put sand on the ground and, uh, and I thought that, that would be a good idea because it looks very nice and but turns out, you know, leaf cutters they can walk on sand without problem, but they have real troubles uh, when it comes to carrying leaves on sand. Uh, they struggle. They just just are very ineffective when that when it comes to sand. They fall over a lot. They uh, tumble and uh, trip, and it looks like like they're being wrong as soon as they touch sand. You know, they're very fast carrying leaves when it, when when they're carrying them down the branches or something somewhere like that, or on wood, or on the rope. Uh, absolutely no problem, but as soon as they are on the sand, uh, they get really slow. So I thought I have to do something, I have to give them, uh, offer them some sort of highway where they can carry their leaves back, because uh, as it turns out, it was <laughs> they, they wasted a lot of energy carrying those leaves over sand. Uh, it took a long time, and uh, since the colony is in rebuilding mode, so. I wanted to make it things easier for them, so I went to the wood and we had some storms recently, so there were some trees falling down and this tree, uh, well this log or this part of this wood part is was part of a tree that fell down on a rock, so it really got shattered and uh, yeah, I could just pick up that piece of wood and carry it down and place it in here. Um, now the ants have a highway and also in my opinion it looks better, you know, it looks a little bit more like being out in the wild, in nature. Uh, it's decorative and that's great. Uh, about what they're eating, um, in the past, you know, what I gave them all the time was uh, blackberry leaves because that's what they preferred. Um, when I received the colony at the beginning, I tried to try different leaves and they would always ignore all the leaves and only uh, take the blackberry leaves, which is quite convenient because it's one of the few uh, plants that we also have in winter and uh, they are evergreen, they are also green in winter, so uh, I have access to them all year round. Um, so I stopped giving them other leaves, I just gave them blackberry leaves for a long time now. 
but with, with the new setup, you know, the thing I also said last time is I want to give them choices. And the problem with that is that, um, yeah, if I have just one one source of food in there, there's not really a choice. So I tried different things, tried different leaves, but it was the same result for quite a long time. Uh, they would ignore all the other leaves, just go for the blackberry leaves until I gave them those kind of leaves for the first time. Those are elder leaves, uh, those ones. And from right from the beginning, when I gave it to them, uh, they would immediately start cutting them. Uh, would start ignoring even the blackberry leaves. As you can see that everything is cut here. Um, we're still working on them. So uh, they have a new favorite. Uh, they really love it and uh, also, uh, it seems that they are quite efficient cutting it. They are f much faster to cut those leaves than the blackberry leaves, probably because they are very, very thin and uh, soft. So, um, yeah, they really love those leaves. But still, I'm a little bit hesitant to give them more of them. Um, gave them twice now already, and I always realize that as soon as I give, uh, put those into the enclosure, uh, they would ignore all other leaves. Um, so that makes me a little bit hesitant because the problem is it's August now and uh, yeah, autumn is coming and those leaves will not be available in, in winter and I think from October on I will not be able to find them anymore and if they are getting too used to those leaves and start ignoring the blackberry leaves I will have a problem in winter when I don't have access to those anymore. So I'm a little bit hesitant to give them more of them, but at the same time, it's still rebuilding phase. So uh, every so source of food is great that I can offer them. Uh, there's actually, there's one thing they prefer even over the elder leaves, and that's old flakes. As soon as I give them old flakes, they, they ignore everything else and they just go for those old flakes. But I don't want to give them uh, old flakes too often. I just give them now and again in very small doses. Um, because I heard that people had prob uh, problems when giving too much old flakes to leaf pad rats, but they, they just love old flakes, you know. That as soon as uh, some old flakes are in the enclosure, there's a lot of traffic going on. As soon as they realize the first scouts find them and then immediately tell the nest, and then there are like dozens, if, even, even hundreds of workers coming out of this little hole just for the old flakes. Um, yeah, that's how they're doing. Uh, Again, the, the, I have a lot of fun, uh, still, even though it's now a couple of weeks, I have a lot of fun uh, observing the ants in those new enclosure, seeing what they do. Um, good thing is, you know, I got asked a lot about uh, escape measurements. As you can see, those are the, the it's, it's actually pet foil. It's the same material the pet uh, bottles are made of. And uh, there's paraffin oil on this foil and I haven't had any SKPs, or at least I didn't I didn't find any SKPs since I made the new enclosure. So it seems to work, uh, the escape measurement, even though this is a very open setup, I don't have any ants escaping. So things are looking good right now. Uh, again, if you have ideas, you know, <laughs> give me your comment. If you have, if you have an experience with uh, Atta or Reefcut ants, um, should I continue give them elder leaves? Will, they, will it be easy for them to switch back to, to, to a Blackberry once, once winter comes? If you have experience with that, please tell me. Also with the old flakes. Uh, I know the, the opinions are very mixed. A lot of people say, yeah, don't give them old flakes, others say do it. Uh, so if you have an opinion there, feel free to share. And yeah, that's the sh short update about the leaf cutter ant colony and we'll, <laughs> I will continue to work on the video of the main series and I hope we will be ready soon. It's about, it will be about Fort Macarufa, uh, wood ants and yeah, I can't wait to show you. Alright, thank you for watching. As always I appreciate every like and if you want to see more videos like this and also the upcoming video of the main series Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get all the notifications and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.